Hey guys, my name's Lou. I'm a doTERRA wellness advocate. Um, and look, I did just stream live a essential oils workshop, which I'm pretty sure I just did the whole thing without sound. So now I'm recording it so that I can send it to you guys. Um, anyway, hopefully this works out better. Um, <laughs> Jack was a bit disruptive in the live one anyway, so fingers crossed this works, fingers crossed you can hear me, fingers crossed the internet keeps working, fingers crossed Jack stays asleep. Um, so I just wanted to run through um, how I would run through an essential oils class if you came to my home um, and reach some of you who are not able to get to Nellan Boy or are not able to go to a workshop um, that one of my teams running elsewhere. Um, so I know I have lots of friends and family and team that are in the UK and all over Australia. So let's run through as I would normally do that. If you've got some oils, get them out, um, play with them as we go, um, smell them and really in, get, the, get the most out of this. Um, if you don't, then let's have a chat at the end of this. But there are a few documents that would be great for you to have in front of you. And if you don't have these, um, maybe just pause it and message me and I will send them straight to you. Um, so this is basically what we're going to cover. Um, so we'll cover what essential oils are, how to use them. Um, we'll talk a little bit about doTERRA essential oils specifically. Um, we'll run through some of the most commonly used essential oils um, and then finally we'll talk about some of the best ways for you to get started with your own collection. Um, you'll also have a price list so you will see here um, that there are three columns. Um, so you've got the oil or the oil blend, then you've got the retail price the, which you can pretty much ignore because um, We'll, um, we'll get everybody set up so that you can access the wholesale prices, which are 25% off. Um, and then you've also got the PV, which is kind of like doTERRA money. It's their way of sort of um, maybe standardising the value of the, the product um, across currencies. So maybe just use that as a bit of a checklist as we go through. Mark off the things that you think you might like um, and then... Um, get in touch with me and we can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation about um, the best way for you to get and the cheapest way for you to get the oils that you want for your family's um, particular needs. All right, so let's talk about what essential oils are. Um, so they are pure extracts from plants, um, much more powerful than herbs. Um, and essentially they are a plant's immune system. So they are nature's defense mechanism for plants and cells. Um, so uh, it, the plant throws off these essential oils uh, as a defense against things like bacteria and mold and things like that. Um, so when you get a bottle of essential oil, you're essentially getting the plant's immune system in a bottle. Um, the way that they interact with your body is um, they interact with the body with um, receptors and enzymes um, and other catalysts that drive um, your body's physiology. Um, so they're extremely useful for a range of different things from emotions and hormones to, um, you know, muscle aches and joints, uh, muscle and joint aches and pains. Um, they're also, the other thing that's also worth mentioning about these oils is they're extremely um, potent. And we'll talk a little bit about that and why they're like that um, in a minute. But um, as an example, uh, one drop of peppermint is the equivalent to like 28 cups of peppermint tea. Um, so it is really important that we have some respect for these oils um, and use them accordingly. Um, and I'm going to talk about how to use them safely um, a bit later on when we talk about how to use them um, and particularly when we're looking at using them for um, kids and babies. Um, but they are safe, they're natural um, and if you use them with the proper respect then you can get some really great benefits. I've been using them for like we have about 18 months now um, and Essential oils were kind of like one of those things that I wish would really work for me. And 
I got some okay benefits, I guess, um, and results from the oils that I was using previously. And then when I discovered the doTERRA oils, um, I just got so many successive wow moments um, that I knew that these little bottles were a little bit different to, I guess, the over-the-counter ones that I had been previously purchasing. Um, so those of you that know me know that uh, prior to probably January this year, um, I had a very stressful couple of years. Um, and when I discovered these oils, they were extremely helpful for me in helping to manage my stress, helping me to sleep, and just helping me to get through that whole um, period of my life. Um, and then when I got pregnant um, with Jack, I was really keen to start using a lot less chemicals in, in the house. Um, and so I started um, getting into making my own cleaning products with the essential oils. And I've actually been blown away. Trust me, I am so lazy when it comes to this type of thing. If it can't be mixed together in like 30 seconds flat with no additional processing, I'm not really interested. So um, cleaning with these oils is actually a really, really easy thing to do. Um, it's really environmentally friendly. Um, it's much better for your health and um, it's cheap. Um, so that was another way that I, I got started in using the oils um, and have been really loving that. Um, so what we'll do, let's get started with talking about um, some of these oils and how, how we use them. So there are three main ways that you can use these essential oils. Uh, one is internally, topically and aromatically. Um, so I just want to take a quick step back and talk about doTERRA, um, the quality of these oils and the purity of these oils because obviously if you're going to take something internally, um, you want to make sure it's safe, you want to make sure it's pure, you want to make sure it's good for you. Um, and the same with putting stuff on your skin because at the end of the day, it absorbs into your body and impacts anything you put on your skin impacts your bodily systems. Um, so, again, you want to make sure that what you're putting on your skin is really, really good for you. It's pure, it's natural, etc. Um, so, the thing that I like about the doTERRA essential oils is that they work directly with, in partnership with uh, farmers and communities where the plants that, um, that generate these oils um, grow indigenously and therefore thrive. Um, so from all of the environmental climatic conditions are exactly perfect for that particular plant. Um, so these are not farmed um, in, in the sense that they're you know, farmed in big warehouses and things like that. Um, and doTERRA don't buy these from the middlemen. Uh, so what that does is it gives them a lot of control um, over the way that they're growing, the way that they um, are harvested and still processed, um, which then gives them a lot of confidence in the purity and potency of these uh, these oils. So, as an example, your frankincense comes from Somalia, your lemon comes from Italy, your tea tree comes from Australia, um, and so on. So, um, the other the other thing that I love about this is the partnership aspect um, that they have with the communities that. Um, that grow, um, that, they're, that they're working with, uh, because the a lot of the a lot of the plants that um, generate the oils that we're using are from third world countries, um, and so DoTerra do a lot of work with those communities um, to make sure that they have the infrastructure set up, that they have fair pay. Um, and that they're also providing for these communities in additional ways. So that has, has you know, um, not a lot to do with, you know, direct, the direct process of harvesting these oils. Um, so as an example, again, going to frankincense, um, they have worked with that community, communities in Somalia, and identified that the priority for those community elders was making sure that their children were getting a good education. And so doTERRA through their Healing Hounds Foundation have gone and set up schools, um, funded schools, um, and have also made sure that that is for girls as well as the boys, which is not always the case in some of the, um, these countries. 
So when you're using these oils, not only are you helping your own family and your own person, but you're helping communities across, across the world. Um, the other thing that doTERRA do is extensive testing. Um, so both with their, within their own laboratories um, and third party labs as well. And they're, they do more testing than any other company um, to make sure that there's no contamination, they don't add anything to these oils, um, and that is third part. Every single batch is third party um, tested and verified. Um, and they're extremely transparent with this too. So um, this is the thing I love about this company is they actually have a website where you can go and you can, it's called source to youcom You can go and you can type in the batch number of your particular batch of oil, so peppermint oil, um, and bring up those, the, um, those, all those lab tests um, and results. Now, you may not know what you're looking at, but they're available. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at when I pull them up, but it gives me a lot of confidence in the purity of these oils, um, which is great because I do like to um, take them internally. Um, so as an example, lemon, um, I like to put in my water every morning. Um, it's really energizing, it's alkalizing. Everybody knows that lemon in water is great for you, um, but, the benefits and the benefits that you can get from putting um, a drop of essential oil versus a slice of lemon are greatly enhanced just because of the potency. But the, the other good thing about the oil is that the lemon oil actually comes from the rind, not the fruity, fleshy part. Um, so it's much less, so it's not acidic, um, so it, it's not as bad for your tea. Um, and you still get all the benefits. So. A bit of a tip when you're using your oils in your drinking water is to put your drop of lemon or wild orange or whatever it might be in the bottom of your glass and then put your water in um, because otherwise you're going to end up with a bit of oil slick on top. Or if you're using a glass water bottle like I do, you just give it a good shake before you take a swig. Um, and the other thing you can do, you might see here, I don't know if you can see, I've got little chia seeds floating around in there. Just a little sprinkle of chia seeds because what they do is they absorb the oil and they kind of help disperse it around the world, uh, which is, you know, a extra healthy experience um, because of the benefits of chia seeds, but it's also a much more pleasant experience than, like I said, drinking in oil slick. Um, but the lemon is awesome. It's really energizing. Um, it's alkalizing. Um, it's really supportive for your liver. Um, yeah, so great one to start with. And of course, the smell is absolutely just divine. Um, so not all of these oils can be taken internally um, and definitely don't apply this sweepingly to just any brand of oils. Make sure that you do know where your oils come from. Um, and check the bottles because they will tell you how you can use them internally or, or not. Um, so the citrus oils are great. All the citrus oils are great for energizing, um, liver support, all of those sorts of things. Um, and the other way that I use them is the herbs and spices. So things like oregano, um, I, you can use in your cooking. So lemon, for example, mixed with um, so two drops of lemon, one drop of basil, one drop of spearmint is a fav with olive oil is a favourite um, dressing of mine. Um, living in remote northern territory, don't always get uh, the herbs and things that I would like to be able to access in Wallis, um, and I'm a very lazy gardener, um, so it's great to be able to have these at my fingertips um, to use in a variety of recipes. Um, if you actually came to a workshop at my house, I would have had some bliss balls for you to try um, and they would probably have peppermint and wild orange in them. Um, so, but again, remembering that these are extremely potent, you don't need a lot to get that flavor, um, particularly the herb ones. Um, the citrus ones, you can probably use a couple more drops, um, but the herb ones I find like one drop of oregano to a whole pot of spag bol um, is plenty. Um, and you get 240 drops in each of these bottles. So you get quite a lot, um, and these last you quite a long time, um, particularly when you're cooking with them. Um, so then the other 
the benefits, I guess, of using them internally is that it nourishes the whole body, including the digestive systems, mouth, throat, liver. Um, yeah, so lots and lots of benefits to be derived from um, taking them internally. And your body, because they're natural, it metabolizes them um, pretty, pretty readily as well. Um, topically is a really powerful way to use them um, and it when you put them on your skin they absorb into your bloodstream within about 30 seconds and then um, can have an impact on every single cell in your body um, so pretty powerful way to use them um, and also to get localized support so like for wounds or you know aching muscles and things like that um, Good points to use them, um, sort of like your neck, your wrists, um, the bottom of your feet. In fact, the bottom of your feet is a great place to try them first, particularly um, if you're testing for sensitivity um, and for like babies and young kids, it's a great place to, to use them. Um, also, if you know anything about reflexology, you can combine the essential oils with reflexology um, and apply them in all of those points. I don't know anything about it, so I won't go there, but um, yeah. Great way to use them. Um, when we are applying them topically, it's really important to use a carrier oil. So any fatty-based oil will help um, these oils absorb um, and make the effect of them much longer lasting. Um, some people might think that using an oil is, um, to, is diluting your oils and using a carrier oil means that they have less impact. Um, but in actual fact, because they're so volatile, they evaporate off your skin pretty quickly, um, whereas a carrier oil can help um, sort of contain them and um, help with the absorption process. So it's actually beneficial to um, be using a carrier oil. Um, and the carrier oils themselves have additional benefits. Um, so you've probably all heard of the benefits of coconut oil. Um, I use a fractionated coconut oil that doTERRA do. Um, this is a beautiful oil. Fractionated coconut oil doesn't go hard in the air con. So it's a good one to use when you're making up rollerballs, sprays and things like that. Um, it also absorbs really, really easily. So um, I can put it on in the morning or the evening, jump into bed or put my clothes on without worrying about grease marks everywhere. So this is a really beautiful, um, beautiful oil. Um, I use like these roller balls, which you can get for like less than a dollar. Um, and you can make up little blends and mixes um, that you use regularly. So as an example, you might use uh, make up a sleep blend um, that you just put on your feet and your neck before you go to bed. Um, I have one that I carry around with me most of the time because I swell up really badly from horse fly bites, much wise. Um, so dilution ratios for adults is usually one drop to, of essential oil to one drop of coconut oil. So these little roller balls are 10 mill millilitres. Um, and so I would put um, 10 to 12 drops of essential oil in here and top them up with coconut oil. Um, make sure you label them too um, as to what's in them. So the one that I put, um, the three oils that I put in for my bites um, are le lemon, lavender and peppermint. Um, so they've all got soothing, cooling, antihistamine sort of properties, help stop the itching, they seem to help stop the swelling, they help the redness. They're great, love them. They're the ones that I take out for me all the time. Um, so I would put three or four drops of each one of those in here and then top it up with coconut oil. Uh, and then it's a nice easy one to have in the bag um, for when I get bitten. Um, so yeah, um, for children the dilution ratio is um, one drop of essential oil to five mils of coconut oil. Um, so like about a teaspoon. And for babies, a tablespoon to so ten mils um, to one drop. So. Um, you may find that you need to make up more than you um, need in that particular instance. But if you just keep like your glass jars, little bottles and things, um, you can use them to make up your mixes. Um, always using glass 
um, or you know you're adding water bottles um, for essential oils they don't react very well with plastic um, okay so that's topically and then you've got aromatically um, so there's a couple of ways that you can get the benefits aromatically um, one obviously take off the lid and just give it a little snort um, then you also have diffusers so I'm not sure if you can see the one that I have um, just next to my lamp there um, that works on a vibration um, basis and is a really effective way at dispersing the essential oil um, molecules into the air um, so aromatically is a really great way also to help kill germs and bacteria that are airborne um, so effective for helping support the immune system um, great when there's like bugs in the house and things like that um, help contain it to just the person that is sick. Um, it can ease your breathing um, and also by the olfactory bulb, it interacts with the limbic system, which is the system or part of your brain that drives emotions. Uh, so that's how your essential oils work on an emotional level um, with, your, with you. Um, so the other way that you can do it, and this is how I do it when we're taking road trips, because we like to do a lot of camping and road trips, just one drop of peppermint oil, or any oil, rub your hands together, cup them over your face and just inhale really deeply. Um, and peppermint oil is the one I just used, which is amazing for just that instant lift. Um, so great for driving fatigue. Great way to use them at work if you're not allowed to use diffusers because some workplaces don't let you use diffusers. Be able to drop on your hanky or your tissue or something like that, but inhaling them like that is, a, is an amazing way. Um, and in actual fact, you can change your mood in seven seconds um, by inhaling an essential oil like that. Um, so, yeah, the ones that are really good for um, energy is the citrus oils, mint. Um, so they're also really good for focus as well. Um, so yeah, great ones to use. So peppermint and wild orange are the two that I put in the diffuser in the morning, generally speaking, um, when people are getting ready for work and school and so on. Um, and then in the evening, obviously, you switch your diffuser up um, and you put some things in there that might be a little bit more relaxing. Um, things like lavender, a lot of the floral essential oils are good for relaxing. Um, arming the nervous system, unwinding at the end of the day, regrouping, um, dealing with stress, etc. So those are three ways that you can use them, um, internally, aromatically and topically. Um, so I might just talk a little bit about um, some of these individuals. So I have touched on some of them already, um, but we'll just go through them one by one. So you, you will have it here on your sheet, you'll be able to follow it. Um, mark off, make some notes, um, etc. So peppermint, we'll go back to peppermint. Peppermint is an amazing oil. Oh, I just love it. Um, so I've already mentioned that you can use this one in your cooking, in your bliss balls. Um, it's invigorating. It opens your airways. It's um, uplifting. It's energizing. Um, it's also cooling to the skin. So this is a lovely one to use with lavender, which is good for burns, including sunburn. Um, just a few drops in a spray bottle of water, shake it up, spray it all over you when you get, um, when you've been in the sun for too long. Um, because it's cooling to the skin, it works really well, whereas lavender is nice and healing and soothing to the skin. Um, so it's a great one to use. Spray it on, then you can even put your aloe vera over the top of it. Um, the other way that I use peppermint is I've had some great results for headaches. So depending on why you're getting headaches. Um, I've had some great results with peppermint for like stress, um, stress-related tension headaches. Um, that's the other thing to remember about essential oils is that they can help with the causes as much as they can the symptoms. Um, so, as an example, sleep. Um, depending on why you can't sleep, would depend on which essential oil. Um, like, do you have a busy mind? Is it because you've done had too much screen time before bed? Um, is it because you're stressed, etc.? Um, so, depending on the reasons for your illness or issue, is 
um, would depend on which essential oil you might decide to use for that particular thing. Um, so that is peppermint. Oh, the other good thing about peppermint, and it's probably the most commonly known use for it, is um, it's good for the digestive system, so great support for digestion um, and um, calming for the stomach too. Um, peppermint is not one that would use for babies though. Um, by the way, or really young kids because the menthol content is quite strong um, for their immature respiratory system. So I would, if you're looking for respiratory support for a baby or a young child, I would choose something else instead, maybe like the frankincense, um, which is a much gentler one and is equally good for your respiratory system. Um, then we've got lavender. So I talked about lavender already. So lavender is good for all things skin. So think wounds, burns, rashes, sores, bites, stings, all of those sorts of things. It's soothing. Um, it's also relaxing for most people. Lavender is a funny one. Like there are a few people, myself included, who don't find it that relaxing. In fact, can get the opposite effect from it. So um, yeah, but generally speaking, lavender is a relaxing one. Um, so yeah, the way that I use it is um, I have lavender in the oil that I've made up for Jack's baby massage. Um, I have, it's good for nappy rash. I make my own baby wipes and this is the one that I use along with tea tree. Um, what else do I use lavender for? In the sleep blends, um, yeah, sunburn, Bites, etc. So this is one that I always take when we go camping. Lavender is like my number one, along with helichrysum, which is like they call it liquid stitches, um, and for a very good reason. Like it's a, it's incredible, and it's an incredible um, pain relief as well. So yeah, helichrysum. Unfortunately, is one of the much more expensive ones, but it is definitely well worth having. Um, and I do have that one in my first aid kit. So peppermint and lavender always come with me. Um, lemon we've talked about. You can put in your water and use in cooking and it's energising and good for the liver and all those sorts of things. Um, tea tree I just mentioned. So this is the Australian one. Um, also good for all things skin, again, so like sores and rashes. Um, it's also good for things like uh, nail fungus because it's um, antifungal properties. Um, it's good for skin. Um, I think that's probably the one that most people understand tea tree to be good for. Um, it's, like I mentioned before, it's the one that I put in my um, baby wipes. Um, and it's also one that can be used in um, DIY cleaning products. Um, oregano is the other one that's worth talking about when you're talking about cleaning products, particularly if you're trying to get rid of mould and things like that. It's an amazing antifungal problem. Um, just to give you an example, this is how easy it is to make your own cleaning products. So, glass bottle, third white vinegar, top it up with water, 30 drops, say, of your essential oils. So, I generally tend to use citrus ones, so lots of lemon, um, the On Guard, which is one that I'm going to talk about in a minute, um, and maybe some of the antifungal ones, but whatever you blend. I also like to put peppermint in there because it's a real good one to mask the smell of the white vinegar. Um, but that's it. So 30 seconds to make a really effective bench spray or multi-purpose surface spray, etc. Um, so easy and so cheap. Um, the best thing about... So DIY cleaning products is probably how I use up my oils the most, the, the quickest. Um, thankfully, the ones that you generally speaking use for cleaning products are some of the cheapest ones, so like lemon, uh, which is great. Very handy, I'm not sure how that worked out, but anyway. Um, oregano is amazing immune support too, and works really effectively against bugs with, in combination with tea tree. Um, so when people are sick in the house, I will make up an immune bomb, which I um, apply to them, but we also put in the diffuser. Um, so the On Guard, which is the blend that doTERRA make that is designed to be supportive for your immune system. This is a good, oh, it's called protective blend. Um, so 
um, for good reason. So this is a good one to put on as a preventative measure to support your immune system. Put on the kids when they go to play school, school, um, on the bottoms of their feet, always diluted um, or in the diffuser at home. Um, but when sickness has hit the house, then you need some extra oils. Um, and I get that by combining oregano, tea tree, um, sugar, um, frankincense, and lemon. So this is my mean ball. A few drops of these in the roller balls and in the diffusers. Um, amazing immune support. Um, while we're on that, frankincense. So frankincense is like the mac daddy of all essential oils. If you only want to own one essential oil, it should be frankincense. So frankincense is good for just about every bodily system that you have. Um, it's calming to the nervous system. It's great for stress management. Um, it's good for, you know, I use it for my overall mental mental health. Um, it's good for muscles and joints. Um, it's good for digestion, respiratory support, immune support, and it's amazing for skin. So I'll put a drop of frankincense each morning underneath my moisturiser. Um, it is just brilliant. Um, what else can I say? What else does the thing say? Um, da, 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 da. Yeah, when in doubt, get your frankincense out. Um, so when I'm making up blends and things, generally speaking, I'll have whatever else is going, um, what other oil, other oils I need plus frankincense. It's just a no brainer. It's amazing. Um, get on board with frankincense. Um, also it's in my sleep blend. So the one that, um, the oils are great for sleep are things like frankincense, lavender, cedarwood. Cedarwood is great for sleep. Um, it helps to combat the effects of too much screen time before bed so um, because it stimulates your pineal gland which produces your melatonin which is a sleep hormone um, which is the one that is impacted by the blue LED lights that are in your computer and your iPads and things like that um, yeah so those frankincense is also good for sleep um, what else have we got easy air I don't have easy air because I've run out um, but Easy Air is the blend that they've made of essential oils that are great support for the respiratory system. Um, so when you open the bottle, it actually smells like Vicks. So if you imagine how you might use Vicks, that's how you would use essential oil, the Easy Air essential oil blend. Um, all pure essential oils, there's no petroleum in there, um, no chirps in there, anything like that that is contained in the Vicks. Um, so I, as you can see, I've kind of replaced a lot of my medicine cabinet um, and over-the-counter medicines with these natural alternatives. And I just love that I can do that, um, particularly in a town where we don't really have a GP service at the moment. Um, so being able to turn to these essential oils um, is just, it's so empowering. Um, I'm not saying that they replace trained medical care, and absolutely they do not. Um, and, you know, that's still really, really important. Um, but just for your general day-to-day -day things, I love being able to turn to these little guys. Um, so, yeah, easier. You can put it on your chest um, to help with um, breathing, um, opening up your airways, um, congestion, um, chesty coughs, um, or in the diffuser is another great way to use that. Um, sinuses, things like that. Um, then we have got Digest Scent, which I don't really like the smell of. <laughs> um, but, and I never ever used it, to be honest, until I got pregnant. And then it saved me from my uh, morning sickness. And then after Jack was born, I got really bad heartburn all the time. And Digest Scent is almost instant relief. It's crazy. I have a newfound respect for it. And also um, on the days when Jack's had a lot of wind, um, a little bit of digest scent, um, heavily diluted in coconut oil, um, applied to his stomach has been really helpful. 
Um, so you can actually take it internally in water. I hate the taste. Some people love it. Um, pink licorice smell. Yeah. Ugh. Um, but it has been amazing relief. So as the name digests and would suggest, um, all things digestive. Um, so relief from nausea, um, relief from motion sickness, morning sickness, um, overall good gut health, um, which we all know has such an impact on emotions and mood and everything else that seems to go on in the body. Um, and calming to the stomach, yeah, it's, it's a pretty amazing oil, I have to say. Now, I didn't like it to start with, but now I love it. Um, deep blue, ice blue, also known as deep blue is the American name for it. Uh, the doTERRA's athletic blend. So this is great for the sporty people in the house. Um, it smells like deep heat, reminds you of changing rooms. Um, amazing support for your muscles and joints, anything to do with them. Um, because the oils in it, so things like helicism, peppermint, blue chamomile, um, camphor, wintergreen, all of these oils have great um, pain relief properties. Um, they are anti-inflammatory. They help stimulate good circulation. Um, so they are amazing for muscles and joints. Sore muscles. Um, you can also use it preemptively before exercise. Um, I use it on after really big fishing days. It's a massive fish that I'm pulling in. Um, makes my muscles ache. Um, so I use this for that. Um, but yeah, this one is the one that all the boys like. All the men in the house love this one. Um, I've also found great relief from tension days with this one, probably due to um, the peppermint that's in it, which I said before, I had some good results using it for tension headaches, but just rub it on the back of your neck. This is this one is best used topically um, in local localized, so wherever your sores are. Um, but this one, yeah, that's just an amazing one. Um, that's pretty much it as far as the individual oils go. Um, there are obviously a lot more, um, and I've grown my collection quite extensively. Um, but I just want to talk to you quickly about uh, how to get these little guys in your life. Um, so there are three main ways that you can do this. Um, and then I'll talk to you about how to grow your collection um, in the cheapest way possible afterwards. Um, but you can buy these oils individually at retail price, which the price is listed here. I do not recommend this unless you're only going to buy one oil ever in your whole entire life. Um, it's the most expensive way to do it. Um, it doesn't give you access to any of the other benefits. It doesn't give you access to any of the freebies, um, etc. So the other way is to buy a membership. So kind of like Costco where you pay your membership and then you get your discount prices. Um, so the membership for doTERRA to access those wholesale prices is $35. If you're going to buy two or more oils, you will save that um, in your first order. And then you'll have the whole, access to the wholesale prices moving forwards um, as you grow your collection. Um, the way that most people do it, unless they're looking for something really, really specific, in which case they might make a custom customised order with the membership, is to buy a kit. So the oils that we've talked about today are in these two kits. So the Home Essentials kit, which is the best value, the way that most people start um, because you get a free diffuser, um, you get the, the value of this kit is even less than buying all of these oils individually at the wholesale price. Um, and you get your free membership with this kit, um, with all the kits actually. Same with this kit, which is the same oils, but no diffuser and they're only five mil bottles. Um, so you get 80 drops in those bottles instead of the 200 mil. 40 drops that I mentioned before. Um, so absolutely the best way to start is with this one because you know you've got everything. And I would always add a fractionated coconut oil. So then 
when you get this kit, you're good to go. You can make up rollables. You can start applying it topically. You can start diffusing it for the aromatic benefits. Um, you're covered for sleep, rest, relaxation, energizing, um, digestive support, immune support, making your own cleaning products, muscles, joints, um, cooking with them. Like You've got a bit of everything in this kit. Um, and like I said, unless you're after something really, really specific, these are definitely the best way to go. Um, I'm also offering a free wild orange, which we haven't talked about, and I will quickly touch on now, um, to anybody who gets started with the kit in the next week. So make sure you message me um, and um, let's have a chat about which kit is for you. If you already know, you can head to my website and follow the links there um, to get your kit. Or you can fill in one of these forms. So section one is um, your personal details, including your date of birth, which is um, you have to be 18 to have an account, but I also use it as your identifier when you're calling customer service. Nominate which kit you want here, um, and then your credit card details down the bottom. And then if you scan and email this to me or send me a photo on Messenger, um, I will get your account set up for you. It's that easy. Um, and send you your wild orange. So wild orange is so amazing. It's one of my favorite essential oil smells. Um, like other oils are like for the therapeutic benefits, but for smell alone, wild orange is insane. It's like when you bite into an orange, a really amazing orange, and you know how it kind of squirts out and usually in my eye. Um, but that smell that you get, it's just, that that is what it is. It's just divine and it's so energizing and uplifting it's also a really good one to put in any diy cleaning products that you're making um it goes really lovely with peppermint first thing in the morning um yeah so look if you were looking to get started with essential oils then this is a great week to do it because i will send you a free wild orange the other thing is if you get the home essentials kit or a bigger kit than that but the home essentials kit um, doTERRA will also this month send you a free Manuka um, oil and a free Litsia oil. These are two really, really powerful oils. Manuka is awesome. Like, I just want to share with you, I have been struggling with eczema on my hand and the normal go-to oils just didn't seem to work. Um, I got my free Manuka oil this month and added it to the blend that I've been using and I have like no eczema on my hand anymore. It's incredible. Um, sometimes it takes a bit of work to find the particular oil that's gonna work for you. Uh, and that was my take out from that. But Manuka oil is amazing. Um, for, again, for all things skin, um, emotionally it's an oil that sort of uh, gives you a lot of confidence, um, kind of, Freeze the warrior inside you, I guess. Um, Lipsia is like is is really really great immune support. Lipsia is up there for me with wild orange as far as the smell goes. Um, it smells like lemon sherbet, and it's just oh, it's an amazing one to put in your cleaning products. It has this divine smell. Um, so um, it also there's a lot of properties I can't talk about because I'm trying to be compliant. Um, but yeah, trust me, Manuka and Litsia are two extremely powerful oils. Combined, they're worth $144. Um, so it's amazing value. If you're going to get a kit anyway, if you're thinking about getting started with essential oils, pick the Home Essentials kit, get a free Wild Orange, get a free Manuka, get a free Litsia. Incredible value. Um, it is literally the best month to get started with these. And I don't say that about all of their promotions, but Manuka and Litsia are so worth having. I put in enough orders to get two of each of those free, actually. I love them so much. Anyway, um, so that's how to get started. And then the way to build your collection um, is the best way is through their loyalty rewards program um, where you earn free points, you get free products. Um, I basically buy my shampoo and things like that um, that I would normally buy from all these anyway and then earn the points and spend them on um, the more expensive essential oils. So like my helichrysum that I mentioned before, um, I always get the points. Um, 
So I love their loyalty rewards program. Um, I will talk to you about that more individually um, once you've got your oils. Um, once you get set up with your oils, that's not the end of it for me. Um, you will be hearing a lot more from me, sorry. Um, but just in terms of supporting you to use them. So everybody who will get a kit, um, what I would normally do is or over the phone or sit down with you for 20 minutes um, and just make sure that you're really confident in using them. Um, and also in tailoring them to your family and individual particular needs um, and goals. Um, you also have access to a Facebook, closed Facebook group where you can ask questions. Um, there's lots of other people in there asking questions too, sharing information, sharing links that they find, sharing recipes that they find, sharing wins and successes. Um, there's also, I'll just bring it up on my phone and show you, there's a great app that you can get, which this one here, Modern Essentials. It's $11, um, looks like that. And it, you can type in anything in here. So you can type in your oils and it will tell you how you can use them, for what, um, do you use them internally, aromatically or um, topically for that particular issue. Or you can type in your issue. So you can type in headaches and it will list a variety of different types of headaches um, and the typical oils that you would normally use to support you in those things. So the best way is definitely to get started with your kit um, and then start using an app or another resource. Um, and what you'll tend to find is the same oils will keep coming up for you again and again. Um, and then you can just add that to your wish list. And then when we sit down um, and talk about um, what you are wanting to achieve, particularly with these oils, um, then and how to set up, you know, future orders and things like that, then um, those oils that keep coming up for you can be ones that you get started with. And that's the best way to work, build your collection. Um, so I think that's pretty much all I can tell you um, for the moment. Um, I hope that was helpful. Uh, oh, the other thing I should mention is when you um, get an account, you'll also get plugged into a new email series that um, myself and some of the other doTERRA leaders have put together. Um, sharing, it's a 12, an email every week for 12 weeks, um, covering off some of the stuff that I've already covered off, but a lot of extra things too, like, um, you know, going into sleep a bit more detail, um, traveling with your oils, um, how to replace your medicine cabinet um, with essential oils. Uh, what else? Incorporating them into your daily life, things like that. It's a great series. I'm really excited about it. It's pretty new, um, but yeah, we'll have access to that as well. So lots of support um, and ongoing education available to you guys. Um, I can also send you some links and resources for reputable places to get your information about oils. Um, and for those of you that are in Nullamboy, I do run fairly regular workshops, often themes, so things like this week we're doing how to make some many products. Um, please feel free to come along to those. Um, and I'll probably try and do some more of these webinars too once I've figured out how to actually do it and get my live thing working with sound. Um, anyway. Feel free to message me, Facebook, email, um, phone, and let's have a chat um, or send me your order forms and let's get you guys started. See ya.